Hi everyone, this is Angie. I'm going to do a real quick uh, review on the pressure cooker Tupperwares. I am so impressed. Um, I soaked my beans last night, overnight. Mixed beans for chili. They're good and soaked. Um, I rinsed them. And then um, I put them in, the, in here. Get them all out. There we go. Now, I will fill it up to the fill line, which is, I gotta get it right there, with water. You don't wanna go above that, but you don't wanna go underneath it because your beans will rise. And beans don't really have flavor. It's what you put in them that makes the flavor. Usually, I don't put too much seasoning in when I'm pressure canning my beans. But, okay, so here's the hard form. Really hard. And here's how beautiful they turned out. They're not mushy. They taste good. Wow. Very impressed with this. Um, I will be taking some of my hot pepper flakes. I dehydrated. I'm going to add it in here. Never add salt to your beans until you're ready to make your chili. Then I'm going to take the beans that I do have, put them in my slow cooker. Never rinse those. Once you pressure canned them, don't rinse them. Just drain them and then use your beans that way. I've got my tomatoes that I canned up. I got some tomato puree and some tomato paste. I got my seasoning, and because I can up, uh, pressure can up uh, our leftover chili uh, for jars for later, you know, lunches or whatever, I always use my canning salt when I'm making the soup. It has no different taste. It's just uh, the preference for when you're canning versus when you're not. You don't want iodine in your stuff. So, okay, that's it. I just wanted to tell you, so easy to use. Like I said, I'm going to put some of those peppers in there. You wait a second, I'll quick turn you around. I think I can remember how to.